old. I swear to God, I swear to God, you stupid bitch. I'm zipping in. What's up YouTube? I am back with another video. If you read the title, you know that today's video is going to be me showing you guys my curly hair routine. My hair is looking a whole mess right now. Y'all see that? It's very, very dry. But um, yeah, so basically I just took out my braids uh, two days ago. So it's time for a wash. I got some crusty gel stuff all on my edges. So it's time for a wash and I'm gonna bring y'all along with me and I'm gonna show y'all what I do cause y'all been requesting it. Y'all wanna see hair tutorials and stuff. I mean, it's not all that, but I'm gonna just give you guys what you want. So it is what it is. Make sure you watch the whole video, like, comment, and subscribe. And we gonna get right to it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, so as you guys can see, my hair is hecka dry right now, but we're gonna fix that. So, the products I'm going to be using are the Avocado Aussie Moist Shampoo, along with the Apricot Aussie Moist Conditioner, and two combs to detangle, a wide tooth one, and a special detangling one. Okay, so now I'm just getting my hair wet to prepare for the shampoo and all the products I'm going to put in it. I'm not sure about my hair porosity, but my hair takes a while to actually absorb the water, so I'm just trying to make sure it does. And by the way, the water is on warm to open up my hair follicles. Y'all get into this length. I know y'all see it. We at bra strap length now, so we trying to grow it out. But that's just how my hair looks with only water. And now we are going to start with the shampoo. Okay, so now we're just taking the shampoo about this much and we're gonna put it on my scalp and massage it in. Um, I'm focusing mostly on my scalp because if you put it all over your hair, it will become dry and we don't want dry hair over here so we're just focusing on the scalp and when you do rinse the shampoo out of your hair it will run down your hair shaft and it will be clean so you don't have to worry about that all right so now i'm just rinsing out all the shampoo with the water and you can see how the shampoo did run down my hair shaft without me having to put it so yeah now i am done rinsing out all the shampoo and my hair is clean so we are gonna go in with the conditioner and y'all see what i'm using i'm taking not too much as you can see i struggled a little bit but we're taking about this much conditioner and i put it on this section first but then i realized that i do section my hair off so that's what i'm doing now i'm just sectioning it off into this one section but i do um section it off into like four pieces so yeah that's what i'm doing now Okay, so now that that's done, we are just putting the conditioner back in. I grabbed a little more and I was very heavy handed because my hair was really tangled and dry. So I'm just finger detangling now and it can be pretty hard, but you just gotta be patient with it. And at some point I do zoom in uh, right here. So you guys can see that I have a big tangle right there but I just pull it apart so that my hair doesn't break. If I had a comb, this would break off so much hair. So I'm just trying to be gentle and go through with my fingers so I don't have so much breakage. At this point, I'm done with the finger detangling and my hair is pretty detangled. That's what the curls are looking like. Um, it's pretty detangled at this point, but I will go in with this comb as you can see and just going through it to make sure kind of like an extra layer of security so that I know that my hair is for sure detangled and we're just being really gentle with that being sure not to 
break any hair off. Now I am done with the comb and y'all can see the curls are low key popping. Um, so now I'm just splitting it into two and I'm twisting it up so that when I do the other sections, these parts don't get mixed in and get tangled back up. Okay, so I'm just gonna do everything that I did to that section to the other section and I'll be back right now. So I'm done with all those sections and I have twisted them all up and I'm just gonna show you guys again in the back and yeah. <laughs> After a long period of time of doing all the other sections, we're finally going to do our last section and we're getting it all wet because it did get kind of dry back there. So we're just getting it wet and applying more conditioner to this section and I am doing some type of hand motion to make sure it gets everywhere. And now we're just going to finger detangle just like we did the other sections, basically repeating all the steps. And I know y'all see the curls, get into it, um, they low key pop in. So, yeah, just repeat every single step, and that's what it's looking like after I'm pretty much done. As you guys can see, this process does get really messy, and I have conditioner everywhere. And as you can see, I am wearing a top, so YouTube, please don't copyright this, or whatever y'all gotta do, block it, whatever. But I know y'all see the length, get into it. So now we're just going with the comb and doing everything. Just the same thing that we're doing before. Come through from the bottom to the top. And yeah. Now I'm just splitting this section into two and twisting it up. Now that the whole washing and conditioning process is done, we're gonna rinse it all out with the water while it's still in twist. Whoa! Oh! Okay, so we're finally done and all the conditioners rinsed out. Hair is clean and it's looking good. Curls popping. It's giving length. It's all moisturized. You already know what the deal is. I'm just showing y'all what it is. I think I was trying to get a thumbnail here. I don't even know. But I'm just showing y'all what it looks like. And my face was really wet and it had conditioner all over it. So I did dry my face off. But we're going to get out the shower now and do the rest of my routine. Okay, so right here I was like, I am wearing a top because I am wearing a top. Okay, so right here I'm just getting some coconut oil. I almost spilled it everywhere, but just getting the coconut oil and I'm just gonna put it all over my hair. I got some more and just kind of not really rubbing it in because I do want the curls to stay, but just putting it all over my hair, really. Then I got this Carol's Daughter's Cocoa Cream, and I put that all over it. It makes my curls pop, and I had a hard time opening it, but, you know. So, I'm just going to take a little bit. I have a little bit left, so I can only use about that much. And I'm just putting it all over and getting it in. As you guys can see I'm shaking my hair I don't know what this does but it makes my curls pop so much more I have no idea why it just makes it pop like shaking your hair it just does it it makes the whole thing better but I'm holding some extreme gel I kind of put this in but I don't usually use it um, I usually use eco styler but I didn't put any in because I am gonna do braids after this so these are the end results i know y'all see it um yeah that's really it if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like comment subscribe share it with your friends if you want to see more natural hair videos let me know tell me what you guys want to see next and yeah that's really it the curls came out really good i love my curls i would not change them at all yeah that's really it. That's all I had to say. Um, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Bye.
big ass Draco. Three more millions when you ask how my day go. Put up a phone, had a 